Our third question is going to be answered in the order shown. Um, third question is, what is your position on funding necessary public services, annual contingency funds, loans, tax increment finances, and new taxes? When would you support raising taxes? Can you wrote the face. Thank you so much. Uh, we, in our last five-year plan, prior to 2014, we had a tax increase of 2.4 for your residential taxes. And in, two, and in 2014, we raised that to 4%. So that is in, the, in line for the next five-year cycle. Uh, so that tax has been raised. What I'm looking at, though, is we have, in 2019, we'll have 1.1 million outstanding in debt. And it's an opportunity, and it's our first opportunity to pay that debt off. So we want to look at, do we plan to pay that off at the 10-year mark? Uh, when, when I had been newly elected and that uh, debenture arrived uh, from the previous council, um, it, I learned a lot about when we can uh, pay that. So, We'll look at the interest rates and the long-term interest rates at that time because they get tied in for about 10 years. Uh, looking at our loan ceiling is about 5 million plus and we're at about 1.4 right now outstanding and Mr. Burr was correct when he said originally 1.6 but it's at 1.4 uh, plus a $148,000 lease over five years uh, because our vehicles were replaced. Um, when we look at the the funding that we apply for really aggressively. This is so important for our community because that funding is one-third federal, one-third provincial, and one-third municipal. So that helps Lions Bay and it helps you, the taxpayer. Thank you so much. Thank you, Candidate Belfo. Still in the process now. You know, I'm not sure how to answer that question because I don't know what we need to spend on. I think we realistically have to go back to first principles and find out what is the expenditures necessary to do long-term costs and finance short-term um, operating costs as well. So that being said, not trying to put the cart before the horse, I wouldn't raise taxes right now at all. We're the fifth or fourth highest tax-paying municipality in the province. That's from provincial data regarding all 170 municipalities. We have a low mill rate, but we pay a lot for all the other stuff that combines that up with your total amount is paid. I don't think we can afford to look at other fees until we figure out what do we need to spend on, what's the short-term priority, and what's the long-term priority. So when we figure out what the need is, then we'll figure out where we're going to get the dough. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Belton. Senator Burke. I'm not in favour of wholesale tax increases, uh, maybe cost of living, sure, I already said this. I think we need to add to our tax base to increase our revenue. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy to reread it. So, no, let's go, I'm adjusting it. So, uh, I need to be absolutely sure that we are receiving every penny of available grant funding. Uh, I'm against uh, consultants on principle, but uh, there's one instance where we would get a consultant to confirm that we're getting every penny due to us. Um, I would like to see uh, the master plan for infrastructure done. That's uh, roads, water, embankments, drainage, micro hydro, the works. And then do a bottom up 20 year budget to understand what our long term capital needs are going to be, how we're going to fund those, and when we're going to spend them. I am in favor of taking loans, they're cheap right now. That is a way to gain economies of scale. We're going to pay for it anyway. The sooner we fix some of this stuff, the less it's going to break. That's what I'll have to say. Thanks. Thank you, Canada.